Hey, 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 this is um, Casey from Pizzazz back again to do our 3.30 afternoon lesson. I've got both of my kiddos joining us today. Chloe, who is 12, will be right over here. And Cade, who is nine, will be over here. And we're gonna be painting the pineapple. We are inspired because we see pineapples all over the place. We are at the um, <clears throat> beach house right now. So there's pineapple rugs and there's big fun pineapple painting behind us. And so there's just pineapples everywhere. And so <laughs> we were inspired to do a fun pineapple. So, real quick, let's go over the supplies that we have. We have got watercolor paper. And again, if you've been doing this with us every day, we have been using just about the same supplies every day. And the reason for that is because we want this to be as easy, accessible as possible. We don't want to give you new supplies every day that you've got to go running around and get um, we want to give you just, you know, go buy a watercolor pad, some watercolors or some washable markers and a Sharpie and you can do a ton of art just with a few supplies. So again, we got the watercolor paper. Today we are using the Crayola um, washable watercolors, uh, pencil and any kind of permanent marker. So um, that is what we have. But as always, you can use whatever you've got. I don't know if you look at some of our pictures that people post, but some people yesterday even did our featured picture of the day on their sidewalk for sidewalk talk <laughs> so you can do this however you want to um, on april 6th we are launching um online art classes very similar to this but in the online format and that can go a little bit deeper have a little bit more time than this where we do art history uh like but in a fun way we do all kind of different techniques we do some hand lettering this we look at the shape it is kind of a circle oval notice kind of where it starts okay so if it's right here if you look from top to bottom and found the middle of the page it's just a little bit higher than the middle okay so what that means is when i go to my regular paper right here i'm gonna look from top to bottom here's the middle and i know i start a little bit higher so i'm going to start right about here not yet kids and then i'm going to lightly draw a oval i did not realize until right now i'm on the wrong side of my paper but that's okay should be fine there's something else painted on the back <laughs> that I didn't even see until now. All right, so we're just gonna get an oval on there. Okay, so go ahead, y'all do an oval. Remember, you're wanting to kind of be uh, big. I'm gonna turn our light on so maybe you can see this a little bit better. You want it to be kind of big. Okay, this is great, Cade, but next time, don't press down quite so hard um, because in case you have to erase. You're not gonna have to erase that though, it looks awesome but sometimes if you were gonna have to erase it. Then let's look at these lines, okay? It's gonna start here and it goes left and then it comes back, but it does not come all the way back to here. It just kinda comes back a little bit, left and then right and then left and then right. But every time it's kinda moving up. So we're just gonna do just those three to begin with. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna start right here. You're gonna go left, it's kind of a curve. Now we're coming back right. Then we'll go left, another curve, right. Now we're gonna go up, but it's still to the left. Left, right. Okay, so just go ahead and do that to begin with. And we're gonna go right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, it's kind of going up once again. All right, so watch for a second. Right, left, right, left. Now we're going up, right, left. Go for it. Start, hold on. Well, that's fine. I started down here, but you can do that. <clears throat> okay. Now we are going to just very, we're going to do these sideways. Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't finish this up here. Y'all two finished yours. I didn't finish mine because I just wasn't sure. So if you finished it, great. If not, just throw in another one going either way. You don't have to do that, baby. Yours look fine as it is. But then we are going to be doing our kind of hatching going this way and some more coming this way. It's not really hatching, but so angle, angle, angle angle okay so we're going at a kind of an angle and then we're going to come back the other way this slanted line now one tip i would say is you might not want to put those too close together um melissa says i hear the birds in the background yes yeah, sounds so peaceful it is people it's peaceful here i want to stay for a whole lot longer but <laughs> i don't know when we all do all right so y'all go ahead and go ahead and do your um 
plants. That's the beauty though of being outside. Like even if we weren't here, even if we were anywhere, just going outside and kind of, that's one of the blessings of this whole thing is it slows all of us down to where we notice little things that we love. And one of those is just a love being outside as long as the weather is decent and the wind blowing and the little birds chirping and it's just um, a peaceful time. So there are blessings to be found in all of this craziness. All right, so now we are going to get our Sharpie and we are going to just do our kind of quick outlines. So you could do this solid. Um, I, on this particular one, I like doing it kind of sketchy. So like you'll do like a double outline, like one and two. Um, <clears throat> however you want to do it though, you can go ahead and get a Sharpie and the outline. You can go ahead and start, okay? That we're sharing sharpies here we don't have too many that we can find that are working on these i'm not even going to be solid like it, it can just be kind of be quick because i don't want this cross hatch stuff to take you know to take over and for that to be all you see i want it to be there but i don't want to be like thick like jailbird line looking things all right and then inside here if you want to put just a few other little lines that going in this direction, you can. All right, here you go. Okay, do you want to move yours up here? Yeah, you can do all of it, yep. All right, doing great. Looking good, looking good. Remember, this has got to be a permanent marker. It cannot be a washable marker because once you run the water over that, um, it will smear all over the place. And now we are about to go to our painting. All right, so with the Crayola, um, you get really good colors with these. I'm going to, you can take these out. I'm going to leave them in there and just kind of put this on top, I think. Will that work? Mm, no, we're going to have to do it like this. We're going to have to. Okay, we're just going to take it out. We just don't have space on here. Normally what I do is just open it up and put my water cup on the other so that it doesn't uh, doesn't come over on us. Okay, so we will first, we're going to go into the water. Do you need, is this your brush? Or you got to, okay, here's your brush, Kate. Yeah, here's mine. Okay, now we're going to, if you have a brand new pack of watercolors, you are always going to need to add water to it. You do not want to go like straight like just digging into the the pigment okay and if you've got little ones they're gonna want to like this is kind of ooey and gooey and i could use that but ugh, don't do it you want to go to the water so i usually tell little ones four times so you're gonna go one and kind of add a drop and go back to the water two three and four and that's usually enough to have a little bit of that water on top you want to make sure that you are using the watery part not the you're not digging into the pigment so with this, we are going to just quickly cover our pineapple with the yellow. Okay, so y'all can go ahead and do it. And then even after you do the four dollops of water, you still are going to be touching water and then paint in between so that you don't use up all of that water. So I'm still going to water, paint, and then putting it on there. Water paint putting it on there now i will say too um we have got another version of this pineapple that i'm going to do later that's really it's i love it it's, it does not have a black line it's really b better suited for older kids or really adults is what i had in mind um so y'all can tune in to that i'm gonna um be doing that a little bit it might be it might be tomorrow either later tonight or tomorrow um it's, it incorporates a little bit of lettering into it and um and painting 
but like I love it. We actually are not using water watercolor with it. We're using the washable markers uh, that turn to watercolor, and it's really pretty. So stay tuned for that. This can be like your little beginner course in pineapple, and then we'll turn it up a, a level and give you a really cool one. Baby, <clears throat> use this other brush for you. <clears throat> it's a little bit bigger, and it will uh, it'll just put it on there faster. All right. So while Kate is finishing that up, <clears throat> I'm going to get a little bit of my orange. So one, two, three, four. And what I'm going to do, you see how the, um, there are diamond shapes here? On the right side of the diamond shape, I'm going to put a little bit of an orange, okay? Now, if your orange is not showing up, you can go either to the red, well, maybe to a dark, darker orange, just to this darker orange and you're just kind of you want this to be while it's wet so that it kind of is not a perfect outline or anything it's just a little bit of a different shade so i'm just doing this orange on this kind of bright side of every little diamond shape okay y'all can go for it good hmm you know, like a backwards l Kind of, yeah, that's a, that's a way for you to look at it. Or it's like the, um, would that be the greater than sign or the less than sign? Mm -hmm. Huh? Huh? Yeah, it does. It kind of mm -hmm. looks like that, which is like the greater than sign. <laughs> to me, it does. All right, so we're just kind of putting a little bit of orange right in there on the right side. And if it moves around and it's not exactly right there, that's totally fine. Okay, so uh, so don't worry because if you'll see mine after it got after we stopped, it kind of moved everywhere, but it still looks cool. Okay, it still has the different variations of yellows and oranges, so it still looks really cool. <clears throat> All right, so while Chloe is finishing up her uh, her oranges, I'm gonna go to the greens and we're gonna do, lay in a light green and then a dark green uh, or a, just a darker. So I'll rinse my brush. I'm gonna kind of get this wet. One, two, three, four. And then just start laying it out. This almost looks yellow, but that's okay. Once I add the darker green, it'll. I have a lot of green. You can use this right here. Just reach. Right here. Right here. Don't use this. So I'll just use some of this dark green too. I'm going to add that water. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to throw some of that in there. So I'm not painting. When I add the other, the darker color on top, I am not painting everything with that color. I am just doing just a little bit. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What do you say? Oh, that's no big deal, baby. No big deal. Here, if we had a paper truck, yeah, look up there. You fixed it. Okay, so some of his orange went there, but he fixed it. No biggie. Okay, so just kind of putting in multiple shades of the green. good in the neighborhood okay these look awesome so now we are about to start the background now let me show you the original so with the original we are using blues and purples all in the background and we're doing it while it's wet so we're doing a lot of blue and then we're gonna drop in some purple but notice that I didn't go all the way to the edge and that was on purpose I just kind of like the style of having a little bit of a border there so you don't have to do it like that I'm just telling you to notice it because if you like that that is one thing we did and then also notice that we did not touch right up next to our green or our pineapple. There's a little bit of that white space that we left. And we did that because when we were painting it, we knew that if we let this touch this, it was going to all bleed together. So we did not want that. So just kind of keep that in mind. And we are going to get started with, I'm going to kind of add my water. One, two, three, four. And let's just do one section at a time. So I'm going to kind of remember, I'm going to leave a, a border of white and then I'm going to not get too terribly close 
to my pineapple. And I'm gonna just do maybe half of this page and then we'll come back in before it dries and add in the purple. So remember, I'm still going to my, um, go into my water before I get paint. That's important, water and then paint. Not getting too terribly close. Oh my goodness. And then after I've got this on, now I'm gonna come and get some of my purple, kind of add that water. One, two, three, four. And then on this, when I'm adding the purple in, it does not have to be, like, I don't wanna do it everywhere. I'm just gonna kinda, you see how it just naturally spreads because this is wet. If you've watched some of our other videos and saw the wet on wet technique, this is very similar. It's wet, we're adding in the wet. The only difference, we didn't wet the paper first but it's still wet paint into wet paint, and it kind of all has this tie-dye effect that's super cool. Okay, and once I do that, I'm just gonna go to the other side, and once again, I'm gonna do blue first, and kind of create my border. Make sure I'm not getting too terribly close to my pineapple. What's wrong, babe? What'd you say? No, I am getting too close. Oh, uh, you think you are getting too close to your pineapple? Yeah, you you said we didn't have to. Yeah, you don't have to do it the way I did it. These are fun. These really are really bright, uh, really bright colors. Can't wait to see. Remember, if you post this, we are doing our contest for our free art lessons, our online art lessons, all through the weekend. We're going to draw a couple of winners to get a free month of our art classes because we will be doing our 3.30 live lessons all next week. But then after that, a lot of our attention is going to be um, devoted inside of our kids club to, um, to teaching our kids very similar just to what, how we do the studio. We're not able to open the studio now possibly not all year much sure. i don't even know what we're going to come with the kids but since the kids can't go back to school where we are we don't know that we'll be able to have art classes at the studio or not so we have moved them all to the online format to where we are able to do everything that we do at the studio online so uh we if we don't already have a link in the comments we will put one on there whenever we are finished with this and post your pictures of your pineapples and of the things we did yesterday, and you could be a winner. We will announce the, the winners of the free month of art class on Monday. So I'm just doing the same thing I did before. Just kind of dropping in purple. After I painted it with my blue, I'm dropping in the purple. Thank you, Jessica, for answering that. Yep, just $20 a month, which is a steal of a deal. At our studio, it's uh, $45 a month. Um, this, we're able to offer this at a little bit lower price point, or a lot lower price point, less than half. And um, it's a really good deal if you've got two kids, you know, and then it's, you know, it's $5 a class, even less if you've got a couple of kids that are sharing it. So um, it is a steal of a deal. That is our founding member's price. Um, we will continue to do these. Uh, we can't promise that they're going to always stay at that price point. But once you, or once you come into the club at that price point, you are always locked in at that. and there's no commitment to the kids club. I mean, we want you to stay in order to, to learn new things every month, um, but if you get in and it's not for you, no big deal. Uh, you can cancel any time. Of course, we don't want you to, but <laughs> if it's not for you, we want you to know that there's no risk, okay? There's absolutely no risk, nothing to lose, a lot of stuff to gain. And this is it. It looks awesome, y'all. I love it, love it, love it. So these are really cool paintings. Now here is the deal, let these dry. If you're doing this at home, don't pick it up and say, mama, look what I did, okay? Don't do that. Because you see how I have puddles right here and puddles right here. If I were to pick this up right now and hold it up and down, the, the paint would start going everywhere. So just leave it, let it be, and it will be dry pretty soon. And after it's dry, like our sample, then you can do all kind of whatever you want to with it. So all right, y'all, see ya, see ya.